welcome to the second round of story mode. We'll be doing the fourth, fifth, and sixth chapters today. First up is chapter four, and um, I kind of like this one, but I kind of don't like it as well, so... We're going on hard mode again. I can clear this on very hard, but it's, uh, it's not a very consistent clear. So what do we have this time? It's a bunch of machines with their own mohawks. How very fascinating. Oh! So you wanna play? <laughs> Guys, the party's just starting! Hey, he's a bit of a daredevil. You know, it's amazing that he didn't, like, fall off his little chair there, considering he was going at such a high speed with no windshield or anything like that. Yeah. It's another one-way course, and it's a pretty long one, too. It's probably twice as long as Chapter 2. The goal here is to destroy, destroy, and destroy, which I like very much. It's kind of a throwback to F-Zero X's death race mode. You have to destroy... Well, you don't need to get rid of all of the enemy machines, just the guy in first place, but, you know... You're going to have to go through a bunch of mooks in the meantime, so you might as well. There's also a very nice Big Blue remix in the background here. It's called Night of Big Blue, and I really like it. Shame it's only used in this chapter. And, you know, not on any of the actual Big Blue courses. No, that would make too much sense. Almost as much sense as having an actual Red Canyon course. But I digress. You should know by now how to destroy things. Yeah. Destroying the enemy machines isn't really the tricky part, unless you're on very hard mode, where they have a bunch of health and a very aggressive AI. On hard mode and normal mode, you're going to you're going to see that I destroy 20 of the machines by the time I hit the um, halfway point. The halfway point being uh, represented by a pit area. It's the only pit area on the entire um, course, so you got to make use of that. And as you notice, you can in fact kill a machine while it's on a pit area as long as it's a one-hit kill. Fortunately, with the side attack, that's very easy. What makes this uh, chapter tricky, well, not really tricky, but what makes it frustrating is that, you know, you'll be blowing up all the machines, and then you'll be down to Michael's machine, and then you'll have to take out Michael himself. Now, if you don't kill him by the time you cross the finish line, then you have to start the entire chapter over, and considering how long of a chapter it is, that can be very frustrating. You fortunately have, I'd say, plenty of time to take him out, except he has so much more health than a regular machine would that, that you know, you have to be very aggressive with him. You know, be very risk-taking. Now here it looks like I'm going to fail this because he isn't even flashing red and we're right before the end, but no, one clear side attack. One clean side attack and he's gone. Which doesn't really make sense because I destroyed him in the in the race, but in the cutscene he's he and all of his cohorts are back to normal. Although they do sort of ditch him, I guess. I don't really know why. And didn't we pass that road sign already? Like what the heck? It seems like I didn't get a new new record for the course. You know you you know you'll have a new record for the chapter if the game saves after you've cleared it. I'm assuming it wasn't your first clear. Chapter 5 is very very much impossible on very hard mode. Like so like don't even ask. Like I'll like um I could pretty much sum it up for you once the chapter starts, but let's see here. Are you all right? Judy's still inside the building. Jody Summer's only line in the entirety of story mode, ladies and gentlemen. 
Also, this place is rigged to explode. Just letting you guys know. So, on normal mode, you will have 50 seconds to beat this course. On hard mode, you have 45 seconds. And on very hard, you have only 40 seconds. Oh dear, it's like somebody wrote your name in a death note. I cannot believe I just referenced death note. So, it seems like a pretty straightforward course, right? I mean, it was only a straight line. Like, how bad could this be? I'll just boost like crazy until the end. You don't even have to worry about acceleration because your machine is sort of already in that, um, driving state. Okay, so there's doors closing. That doesn't seem too bad. There's capsules along the way that will, um, restore your health. And doors that close vertically. And pillars in the way. Okay. And there's doors closing diagonally. You know, I take it back. This course is very, very difficult. And there's even an X-shaped door, too. How do you like that? Now, I should note that the doors never close permanently. They just stop, like, right before they're all almost closed. So, I've made a couple of mistakes, but it seems like I should be able to make it out. There's a bunch of boost pads right before the final jump, and, uh... I suppose you could also be at the mercy of luck sometimes as well. Also, that's a very annoying siren. So, as you can imagine, this it, this is one of those short but very, very difficult, um chapters. And, you know, I sort of like the hard but short chapters better than the long and difficult ones, because, you know, at least with the long ones, you aren't you aren't wasting time by dying right before the finish line, etc, etc. Now, I mentioned that on very hard mode, you only have 40 seconds to clear this, and the capsules don't restore as much energy as they do on the lower difficulties. This makes Chapter 5 one of the hardest very hard mode chapters. It demands a perfect run. So hopefully this time I won't, like, fall right before the finish line. Well, I bounced on the edges of the door, but, you know, I'll take it. That's a clear. It's a clear game. Power plant explodes. And we save the girl. Jody. And conveniently, suddenly, Black Shadow. Yes, I just said that, Falcon. Thank you. Aha! So I did get a new record for Chapter 5 on Hard. I can only imagine what the world record runs for some of these are. So anyways, Chapter 6 is one of the easier chapters in the game, in my opinion, so... Very hard mode! Let's do it! Falcon, you've come to die. I needn't have wasted time looking for you then. Let's settle this at the Grand Prix. Not like this. It's the coward's way. The coward's way? You make it sound so noble. I just plan to eliminate anyone who stands between me and the prize. Simple as that. <laughs> Falcon, take this! Ah, what are you doing? Come out, blood, Falcon. Are you ready? Ready for what? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, on second thought, I don't want to know. Who knows what these two are doing off screen, right? <laughs> And there's no more dialogue for the rest of the cutscene, so, uh, yeah. Apparently Black Shadow ha has an interest in, um, century-old movies, because this chapter is a shout-out to the movie Speed, which I have never watched. We have, we have a speed-sensitive bomb attached to our machine. On normal mode, if you go below 700 kmh, the bomb will explode. On hard mode, this, this minimal speed increases to 750, and on very hard mode, it is 800. 
However, across all difficulties, if you know the course, you know what's coming in advance, and you've practiced it a little bit, you you won't run into any serious issues. So that makes it one of the easier, very hard chapters to beat. This is more of an obstacle course rather than an actual race. So you can see there, there are these big trucks in your way, but those will pull over to the side eventually. Kind, it's kind of problematic if they like pull over in a direction you weren't expecting. Like that one was sitting in the middle of the road. It could have gone left or right. But uh, what's the? That's um, the easy part. Sadly, the hard part is these smaller cars, which do not pull over. They don't make any sort of effort to stay out of your way and if you hit one from the back too hard then you're falling below that minimal speed and you're probably going to lose you have um, if you do fall below the minimal speed you have three seconds to finish the race before you explode as if you have lost all of your energy yeah three seconds there aren't even any big obstacles three seconds away from the finish line So I used maximal acceleration for this, but that was that's probably um, going to bite you in the butt if you try it because you know you don't want to turn accidentally turn too hard, hit a wall, and then lose all of your speed. I come very close, but the maximal acceleration actually saved me. Now, what I really, really don't like about this course is you know we're 90 seconds in and we're only about halfway done. This is one of those chapters where you will get to a certain point, die, you'll say to yourself, okay, I know to avoid that obstacle I died to this next time, and then next time you'll pass that obstacle and then die to the next obstacle, etc, etc, etc. In other words, if you lose, you, you've you wasted time getting to the point at which you lost. Like, um, compared to chapter 5, where it was, oh, if you practice enough and you, know, and you actually plan where you're going, you'll, um, you'll get past it, eventually, and it's not too much time wasted if you lose. This dirt section right here is what you s should save your booster for. Um, as long as you're boosting across it, you will actually not lose any speed, and, that, and that's both important as a racing technique and in the situation where you have speed sets. The bombs attached to your back. So fortunately, after all of that, we just have one more annoying incline right here and then that's pretty much the end of the course so so pretty easy overall but you have to like know the course so how are we going to get rid of a speed sensitive bomb attached to our back we are going to ram into a convenient hook jeez